One of the problems with regulation, as we know, as an economist, we've studied this for a long time, is they don't always know what levels to regulate whatever the issue is, whether it's pricing or whether it's, you know, they don't, they don't always pick because the market usually does a better job of, of, of picking the, the levels of, of regulation, uh, whether it's prices or whatever. So that's the problem. One of the problems with regulation is they often guess it properly. Um, now, when it comes to something like authentication or something like that, maybe that's, you know, maybe that's better to have some kind of a uniform, um, a uniform situation. But I would say that in a sense, we already have, you know, we already have a regulator in place from the from the paperless ticket thing. It's the Department of Justice or Federal Trade Commission, right? It's their job to enforce the antitrust laws, right? Those laws are already in place. They're 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 well worn. They've you know they've been around for 100 plus years and they do a good job. And so from some perspective, you don't have to regulate restricted paperless ticketing as much as you just enforce the antitrust laws. And then once you enforce them, you see what the marketplace ends up being. And again, from my perspective, as a, as an economist, it would look like that. The restrictive part of paperless ticketing is not pro-competitive in any sense of the word, um, and so if they if they were to enforce that kind of on a federal level, you know, then at least you would solve that. You know, the the issues about false advertising and everything. I imagine the FTC uh, would would be interested in that and is interested in that, but they're so understaffed. I mean, I've done work in consumer product on what you can put on the front of your package and everything, and it is unbelievable. You, what you can say is something is natural food versus not, you know, 